everyone, I'm coming back on for part two of my Ali Shoe Kit. Now, I have done one off camera, um, so I will just be matching that on the other one. And I've got glue strands everywhere, but I will heat them off once I'm finished. So, this is the blank one that all I've added is the frill round the side that we showed earlier. This one. I have added small flour, handmade lace flour, which I pre-made for the other one, just because it's quicker and we all know how to make a wee lace flour. I'll show you that up close if it will focus. There you are. And I've just backed it on a tiny wee bit of card. Okay. So that'll just be getting popped on the front. Just makes it a wee bit more special with that tiny wee bit of bling in it. Um, I did contemplate adding it on as that, then putting that on top, but I felt it was just too full then, because it's only a small shoe, so I've decided on that. The inside, this one as you'll see is just plain, and what I've added on this one is some Broderie Anglais um, and Peach. And then the very fine lace that I put round the top here, I've added at the bottom. Just because it was a small area where you could see. Um, and I wanted that filled, so I went round that. I haven't cut off these wee bows. I'm not sure if I will yet. So I've just tucked them in there for now. Um, and on the back, I have added this wee bow with just a little bit of peril and that's it so far um, not sure what else I'm going to do with them so I'm going to get cracking and I'll show you how we put this part together so first of all my glue gun is heated up well it's heating up sorry and this is the Broderie Anglais that I'm using it's really pretty and not too overly decorated so that's going to be getting added and what I've done here is I've cut it at an angle and that's so that I can put it in a wee bit further so when you're looking at it in that angle you're not going to see too much of the white there is going to be a good bit of the lace there so what I'm going to do first of all is just take that out of the way and peg it if I can find my peg That'll do fine, just so that they're not falling over when I'm working on it. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. A minute. That way, so it's this way I want it. Nearly done it wrong. So I want it that way. Easy. I'm just trying to make sure because I don't want it too low. I need it up so that it's matching with the rest. That's it. So it's just hitting the piping at the top here. That's where I want it to be kind of starting so that that's just and no more covering the piping so I'm just going to go round and just add small and often with these projects I'm just adding a little bit there And I'm only doing the top just now. I will go back and do the base once I am happy.
and this will be in three parts because I've not decided what I am going to do with the canvas part yet. It's going to be going on one of the canvases that I've got, which is here. I need to scan that out for you. Mm -mm. This is the canvas. So they are going to be getting hung from that. So there'll be a project on here, probably my niece's name, up at the top, and then up by hanging down. So it's like a 3D canvas. So that's my that's what's in my head. How I'm going to achieve it yet, yeah, not hundred percent. Um, but I have ordered a second pair of shoes off Amanda and I think I am going to attempt to dye the satin on them because I don't want the two of them identical um, because these will be for my eldest niece or well no I think these ones will be for the youngest niece both of them do dancing and ballet um but Mirren is coming up for 14 this year so she's kind of by the pink stage um and I don't really want to add another pair of peach so I think I will maybe dye them. Um, I know we used to dye ours when we were younger. I was a bit irrebel, I didn't do pink. Um, so mine's were always black. <laughs> but I'm not sure yet what colour I'll do mine in. But we'll see. If I do achieve dyeing them, um, I will show you how I've done it. Right, I'm going to cut a wee bit of this off. I'm just going to cut it at an angle. And then just pop it along the top of there and tuck it in and you can see it does make that wee bit of difference and don't worry about this part up here once I've um, got that shaped and actually put down you won't even notice that but you'll see what I mean by there being a bit of a space between the bottom of the lace and the base of the shoe so I needed to add something there um, and this lace is just a nice size for some reason there seems to be more space at the instep I'm not sure how though I might try and pull that down a wee bit see if that works actually isn't that high though and that's what I mean by a little bit of glue because it means if you need to alter it um, you can, you're not rigid as you would be just dropped it a little bit see how that works right, so we we'll are adding this now And what I've done is I've used the bottom part of the lace. We'll zoom in again. I've used the bottom part of the lace for the base. So I'm kind of doing it opposite. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the end here. Just enough to tack it down. Oops. My glue gun's decided it's... That's it. 
this is the awkward part trying to get this wee part in and tack down properly. Because no one's going to see it in there, but I know it's there. Oh, here. Right. Well, I'm just going to be running around. What I think I'll do is tack this little bit down first. I'm just getting around that. Tack it down. And just because the shoes are delicate, don't think that you can't move them about. They're actually a lot sturdier than what they look. As I said, I've been dancing for a long time, me and my sister. Um, but ballet wasn't my... I wasn't very graceful as the saying goes. Oh, that'll do that. Right, so just need to tack this down now. So I'm just going along here. Adding in a bit of pain. That's then my nothing. There's a wee um, plate at the back and it's annoying me, but I'll just need to make do. I'm not going to be able to get the plate out. Just chuck it there. I can get that out of the way. Oh. Really put that out the way when I'm working because I just end up getting into a fluster with it. Right, I'm going to snip that off in there. Right, 
so I definitely add that last wee bit down in the bin to that part. Max is being a pest. <laughs> we were out tonight, are we running the car and had to go and get some bits and bobs for work. Um, so we all just jumped in the car and went down to the beach. Just we change of scenery for a wee hour. Coastline isn't very far for us, so we've got beaches all around. Um, that's good. Come on. That's better. I'm just going round the top of it now and making sure that it's not going to pucker up or anything. That's it. Just want that part done. Now I want to add that bit seems a bit loose there. Right, so my wee flower is here. So I'm just adding a dollop of hot glue and I put it just in line with the wee bow. Just making sure, yep. They're identical. So cute. And then we want to, oops, should have left that line. It ended up in my foot. Then I want my bow, which I know I pulled out under all this. There we go. And these were from Scrimpies as well. The real loose thread there that I'm going to take off. And that's going on the back here. Now I've got these little flowers that I got from Geraldine who's Little, little Snippets one and they match the colour scheme really well so I was thinking of adding them inside so I was looking at maybe two because I've only got four so maybe two in there And then I've got one of these shabby roses. Is it that one? No, that's not cut. Did I cut that one? Yeah, I did. And maybe that one up the top. But I'm just not sure if I like it or not. I don't think I do. Um. So I'm thinking just the two of those. Just to kind of cover the writing. So let's go like that. And there. I think I'll do that. in there. And just position it. And then we've got the second one that's going here. Take that off. Put the 
go that way actually. We've got that now, and I'll probably add a couple of wee ribbon roses in there. I need to match this one now. We've got two of these. Let's meet that on the point. We've got them like that. I don't know what I want now. I'll be hanging. Let's see. Oops, it's too small. Got plenty of this anyway. No, I'm not doing them. Right, let me see where I put my ribbon roses. Let's take that dusty pink from the too dark. Mm, yeah. I think we're going to need to go with white. Just decorate around about it. But I'm just taking off that foam pad. And I'm just going to position that in there. So 
tiny wee bit of bling on it as well, which will give it a bit more decoration. Like that. Oops. I'll just take my off. Pick it back gently. Wrap it properly. And then just position it. And just hold it in place for a minute. So, like that. Now, I don't like those green bits, so they're all coming off. But I can't snip the thread because it's the thread that's holding the ribbon closed or I would have done right. so just a little bit of hot glue Having to be clever how I position these so you don't see the the green. Coming on. Right. Not really comfortable with the white ones, I just can't do the pile and do it from there. One's too heavy, that green bit. But I'm going to glue that under, hopefully. A wee bit of that green shown, so I'm just going to come in and just tuck it under a wee bit. That's better. We add one just beside the flower. Let's see if I can cut that away a little bit. 
Ebbe. Ott a Noémbe. Már neked én nem tudom, hogy úgy volt. So that one's going here. And that one there. Where is it? That was my little bit of a little Boxes.
So come on, so I need to just put a wee bit of glue to hold it. I need my fun with a glue gun. And I will come back when I've done the other one. By tomorrow morning probably now. But that's what's happened so far. I will probably add a wee bit of bling into the centre of those. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I will be back with a part three, which will be the final part. Bye for now.